Nordics have a very strong link to uh, the Seattle area. And there's so much that we can learn from the Nordics, so much inspiration we can draw with respect to innovation. The Nordic countries have excelled in this combination of innovating to, to make life better. They're, they're good societies to live in, yet very technologically advanced and economically you know, at the forefront of development. There's so much innovation and so much creation and, and, and new exciting things happening in the Nordic countries. So we think there is a place for something that shows up uh, and shows off why th those things are happening. And in particular because, as, as some of the American speakers here have said today, uh, a lot of the people from the Nordics are just too modest to talk about these things themselves. Some of the most important issues that the world is facing can be addressed by innovation and technology and it's great to have people thinking about those issues and those problems here and sharing ideas and concepts. The true success of this which became mobile when everyone in the world could get one of these came actually out of the Nordics. The museum is not only about the past, it's also about I think the future. The, these uh, facilities here are fantastic. So uh, just to, to host uh, all these people, so I think it's uh, novel, but, but I think uh, very, very innovative. There's such an incredible historical connection with the Nordics and Washington State, but it really leaps into the 22nd century. And that connection is authentic, it's real, it's about business and finance and policy and politics and environment and everything. The state of Washington and Norway and the other Nordic countries also, that we are innovative and we want to make a difference. We need each other in order to move forward. So the ability to come together to recognize this new chapter uh, in an already deep partnership was, uh, was very meaningful to me and I'm very excited that going forward we're going to have even more concrete opportunities to work together. Whether it's Finland, Sweden, Norway, whatever, you have so much innovation coming out of these small countries that's actually a fuel, you know, empowering the whole world on technology. You know, the, the beauty of this summit like this is that you have a, almost a kind of melting you know, pot of startup, innovators, big corporations, people who are living in Scandinavia, the ones who are here, living here, fostering ideas, the experiences, sharing best practices, learn from failures. As Amazon says, it's always day one and it needs to be always day one. Uh, and that's where innovation comes in. So I just knew that this was going to be a place to find ideas, find inspiration, also encouragement to know that there are people around the world struggling with the same challenges we're struggling with and coming up with creative answers. At this point of time, we have to be solving big problems together. We have to come up with whole new ways of thinking about things, so that's why innovation is extremely important. Seeing what's happening up here in Seattle with the ecosystem with the university, with the large corporations, with the startup scene and the scale-ups and the venture funds and um, great talents. I think we can really learn something. I think we could learn from each other. I mean, we obviously have a number of, of enormous problems that need to be solved. And I think looking to examples of success in other countries is, is very valuable. I was so proud to just be part of it and really reflect you know, about the Nordic countries and what we have in common with the Pacific Northwest. So come and be ready to engage and, and come to get, you know, some real brain food and some real, a real knowledge boost in, in these areas.